All right, so uh, Ratchet and Clank developer commentary. Uh, welcome. I'm Mike. I'm Tony. And uh, we're back. We're going to do uh, Joba, which is Tony's level. That's right. We're going to do the enemy segment this time of Planet Joba. Exactly. Featuring the tribesmen. And there's a, there's a lot of little details I'm going to probably try to make you pick out uh, to show off my work and how brilliant I am. So when we get to stuff that uh, I think warrants attention, I'll make sure to let you know. All right, and I'll make I'll make sure to take it slow and you know uh, break as much stuff as I can. You know, just in the interest of companionship. So here's the big pink effect that I got in a lot of trouble for, uh, because <laughs> pink is banned. And uh, which the two uh, of people are offended by uh, on the Apparently. internet. Apparently, I understand. I think people are misunderstood what I'm saying, what I was saying. But there are two colors of effects that uh, are very difficult to get through, or were very difficult to get through for these games, and I and I really like them. Actually, hold on. That's this is a level where there might be some call out. I think there's a turret here, right? And yes. then if you jump up there, they should. Okay, so there's a guy in the turret. Try to snipe that guy out of the turret, and let's see if this works. Because I think if you snipe that guy, don't kill the guy in front of him. Somebody should try to run up and take his place in the turret. Yep, yeah, he did. See? So the turret was supposed to be the, the big level of difficulty here. And every time you snipe a guy out of the turret, another guy jumps in to take his place. That was one of the things that I worked really hard on to make. I, don't, I wasted a lot of time on to make work. Because when you're jumping in that turret, you can pretty much take out this whole section. And I think you take out that wall. Yeah. How, how, how did we expect the player to figure that out? Uh, Maybe just magic? blast everything in the turret, yeah. Maybe it was under the same principle as, uh, you know, uh, what what do you do if you see something in a room and hit it with the wrench? Right, yeah. They're probably just going to be blasting around with this turret anyway. Um, so, yeah, the what I was saying before is that purple and pink effects, I was a big fan of purple and pink effects. And not everybody was as big a fan of... No, this isn't where the secret area is, it's later. Uh, not, not everybody, everybody was as big a, as fan as I was of purple and pink effects, and uh, so I had to do a lot of weird changing and replacing of effects down the line. Use that turret, baby. Get in there. That's what it's there for. Oh, oh! You gotta get out. You gotta actually leave the area. Bug? Nah, not a bug. Okay, uh. you suck it. Don't use the turret anymore because you suck, and you can't use it. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with whoever programmed this thing. Sucks. No, why are you mashing buttons? You don't mash buttons. Just sit and press it once. That's all you gotta do. Did you see him running up against the wall there? Uh, no. Scooping. No, I didn't uh, see that. I thought that was a very good touch, Tony. Tell us about why you did that. I think what he was actually trying to do was run away into this room when you're in the turret. I think that's what they were supposed to do. But, but ultimately, he was unsuccessful at that for some well, reason? Well, I can't say for certain because you suck at getting in the turret and you kept jumping in and out of it. And so you probably broke it. Is what oh, it's not that there's a problem. It's that I used right. it wrong. Was that the uh, last effect ever? or? No, I think the last effect ever was used on the, on the thugs for less guys. Okay. Did we talk about the last effect ever last time? Uh, not yet. We'll, I will imagine we'll get to it in the next big thug level, because that's where it was really used. Oh, yeah. Oh, the next thug level is, pro I think, where the Insomniac Museum is, too. And given that the Insomniac Museum was kind of a, a thing that you and I had a lot to do with. Uh, the Platinum Bolt should be behind you. There should be a secret, a s secret swing shot back down that way. This way? On your left. Yeah, go down that way. C keep going straight. No, keep going all the way back. And then on your left, there's oh, a swing shot. secret swing shot. Look at you. So you look at those guys sitting there having a conversation, and then you show up, ruining it for everybody. Yeah, they're just trying to get through their day. I really like those big green beams that they fired. The one, two, three quick bursts. I'm a big, I, I'm a big fan of the way that turned out. Yeah, and the effect looks good too. I think you did. You know a good what job I really like it. about they did a really good job with that animation. Is what I really like the way that they stand there and point their gun at you. I think they look really cool. That's why I really like the tribesmen. 
I think their tribesmen have a really good look about them, and they look really awesome. So I'm a big. Oh, fan. that was cheap. That was awesome. Wasn't that cool that he did that? I like that he did that. I, li I like that you didn't warn me about it either, you mother. No, it's, you know what? It's part of the surprise and the pageantry of my levels. <sighs> the pageantry. I like that. You know yeah, this I'm this big... ground this ground button doesn't look like a button. You know it doesn't light up. I think that was a big problem. Uh, mm -hmm. It doesn't change when you step on it, which yeah. might be the biggest issue. Because all the ratchet buttons generally, you know, they don't they don't have an animation or anything. They just change color when you step on them. Right, and those don't. And I don't know why we didn't do that, but why you didn't do that? I'm sure there's a good reason for it. I think in terms of the levels I did in this game, this would probably be number two uh, in terms really? of my favorite. Yeah. This is your favorite or you think it's the best? No, I think this is my second favorite. Uh, I don't know about it. the best. Certainly not the best. So wait, isn't this thing... A oh, you know what? It was probably not meant to be a button. It was just a secret. Oh, yeah, possibly. That's probably what it was. So, you know, we didn't care that it was completely... You know, against all the rules of game design. That oh, I remember this doing. dynamo puzzle. This is a. I remember doing this one. This is a horrible, difficult challenge. Oh right, I think I designed big, this. Big camera change for one, which we very rarely do. And uh, blocking, jumping, and ducking. How often do we do jumping and ducking puzzles? Not often, man. And well, and this. Uh, Side-scrolling, sort of two-dimensional yeah. feel was not a very popular one with uh, the powers that be at Insomniac. Whoa. Yeah, I remember this was a big, uh, a big difficult one to, to program, just in terms of uh, trying to make sure that you got pushed off properly with all these. There was a ton of collision bugs because we don't usually have things that are supposed to push Ratchet around. In fact, most of the time, things nothing's ever supposed to push Ratchet. I think that was one of the one of the rules of development that we have. Like the enemies and stuff should never, ever, ever push ratchet. Oh. These are sort of a weird exception of things that actually are supposed to push ratchet off the platform, which is uh, not something we do very often. See now, the another thing that we're kind of, a rule we're kind of breaking is that that jump, I don't think is meets the minimum high jump requirements. Well, if you were using the rocket pack, you could just double jump over it, but you insist <laughs> on using the heli pack. Oh, I see how it's going to be. I'm just letting you know, this is the choice that you've made, and now, you know, this is what you have to live with. Yeah, you know what, this, in terms of breaking the rules, and I think what really fails about this challenge, if I may be so bold, is that there's no way to really know what you're supposed to do until you've gone through and failed it. Yeah, we do kind of which teach is, you with death, which is something we try to avoid generally. It's exactly the wrong way to be teaching somebody with something. Like, that's that's cheap to do a game where you can only learn it by failing it over and over and over again. Yeah, and I guess that's more of a... It's a it's an old school mentality that's really gone out of uh, favor for good reason, I think. Yeah, uh, it's not something I miss. Uh because I don't mind games being hard. I, I really mind games being unfair. Um, so there's a skill point on this level where you're supposed to kill all the enemies. Very simple skill point. Just kill everything. But there was, throughout development, that skill point wouldn't get awarded because an enemy would get knocked off a ledge or something and not die. And... For the entire development, just over and over and over again, they would find another way to knock an enemy off a cliff that would result in him not dying and thus the skill point not being awarded. And that was my biggest headache in this level. And the one the one thing I really remember from from doing this <laughs> was was that one bug. That one single bug and that one single skill point. Look at them having a nice little conversation. Just shoot him in the face. Right in the face. Oh, oh, you better move! Sorry, I had to sneeze. 
Oh, and then the beasts come around the corner. That's right. I, rem I remember. Sure. Like, we want to treat. I I really punish the player in this one. This is where I really started to step up in terms of, you know what? Fuck the player. And that's right. I'm gonna <laughs> drop an F bomb because that's how I felt. And this and this is at this point where I started really looking at the player as my enemy. Uh -oh. Is uh. <laughs> Is is that a, an f bomb you want me to bleep out or keep in? No, that's 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 a, that. You know what? That is necessary to convey the emotion that I felt at this point in development. Man, <laughs> I see. you are so just getting. It's artistic, is what you're saying. That's right. You're just getting bombarded here. Oh, this is messed up, dude. Oh man. Um, what? Okay, here's what you do. All right, I'm gonna tell you right now what to do. Equip the rocket pack. Hang Number on. one, equip the rocket pack. No, 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 no. You can do this with the mini turret gum if you just equip the rocket pack. Oh, that's nice. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, my way was better. <laughs> what were you going to suggest, though? Well, if you equip the rocket pack, you can double jump and throw turrets up there. Ah. With the double jump. Even more reason why the rocket pack is the superior pack, and I don't know why you're holding out on this. I like the feel of this. Okay, so oh, a zip line. Yeah, I think this is our first zip line. In this game, yeah. Hey, you still going to the games? Yeah. This is the guy that sold me the rhino in the first game, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. The shady character, here, right? I think we called him. Like I he don't was know different. What he, gives you here. he was different than Slim Cognito. Although, I re if I remember correctly, Slim Cognito was originally supposed to be this character, and we sort of changed him. Wow, he's huge! Oh yeah, <laughs> he's much bigger what? here than he was in the cutscene. Twenty thousand bolts. Oh. So uh, now we're going to get into the levitator sections, yeah. which. I don't know. I don't. I. I. am feeling a bit conflicted about how the levitator turned out. It's a weird. It's a weird mechanic. I well, when when we first prototyped the mechanic, uh, it was free flight anywhere you want, as much as you want, you know, with no limitations. Right. And for and some reason, work. that was not great. Oh yeah. It it only broke everything when you do it that way. Hold down X to gain altitude. The levitator stops functioning when the fuel meter is empty. And are you gonna die already? Yep, there you go. Death. What, uh... What, what was there supposed to go? Uh, to the next levitator pad. Thank you, Mr. Garcia, but... W oh, up there. Okay. Well, see, look, it's off camera. Like, it really sh should be on camera if we expect you to go up there, don't you think? Possibly. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out of my ass here. <laughs> All right, and we get to the other arena. And now we get to the uh, the next arena section, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, let's do it, buddy.